Happy Sunday, everyone. We are tracking cooler temperatures and precipitation across the north central areas today as a cold front continues to move south. You can see 59 in Cut Bank and 59 in Great Falls, but other areas where that cold front has not moved through yet. Temperatures still generally in the 70s, but those temperatures are still below average for this time of year. Checking out future track, continuing to see that precipitation mostly across north central Montana here as we head into the next few hours. Could see a few thunderstorms, but these storms will stay non severe. But even though they'll stay non severe, we could still see some gusty winds come out of these storms and maybe even some small hail possible. Continuing to see a few straggling showers here as we head into late Sunday night. But then we're going to start clearing out overnight tonight as we head into Monday morning. Just a few lingering showers in northeast Montana and cloud coverage across eastern portions of the state as we start off our work week. Now temperatures tonight, cooler. That cooler trend continues. We're seeing mid 40s to upper 40s across north central Montana with temperatures going down into the 50s tonight. Peak wind gusts here over the past 24 hours with that cold front moving through and those rain showers as well as some thunderstorms. We are seeing a little bit of some breezy and gusty conditions, 54 miles per hour. We saw the peak wind gusts at the Great Falls Airport here, probably only a an, a few, an hour or two ago. It is it is now 3:15. We did see just see some rain move through. As for Monday, we are going to be mostly clear here through the morning and afternoon, early afternoon, but then as we head into about 2, 3 p.m., starting to see some scattered showers move into the area here, mostly along a line from Haver down to Lewistown as well as towards Miles City, but then we're clearing out once again by Monday night. Now temperatures will remain cool Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday still below average, but as we head towards Wednesday, we are going to see a high pressure ridge start to build and warmer temperatures move in on Wednesday, a little bit closer to average what we normally see this time of year, but still a little cooler, high of 77. Then we're going to see another disturbance move in on Thursday, cooling us down again. But then Friday, we're going to see some warmer temperatures move in into next weekend for our Labor Day weekend, back to average. We'll have the full details tonight, 530 and 10 o'clock on KRTV and KXLA.